All right, I'm catching you before you play UC Santa Barbara, which is a, a big match, and then you've got a really serious end to your schedule. Yeah, I'm sure do. Yeah, so, but you got to be thinking you're in a good place at this point. I feel good about it. I, I mean, obviously, every year you want to get better and you want to be in the mix, and I, I think we've improved tremendously from last year. I think some of the guys have improved significantly. We've added some new talent, and uh, we're a much better volleyball team. So feel pretty good about that and obviously in terms of this year and where we are in the mix like you mentioned we have a pretty challenging end of the season right now we I think the top seven teams we've played Ohio State Penn State got some nice wins there they're they're tough teams played them early so I haven't seen them lately but uh, the top five from there are us Santa Barbara Stanford Long Beach BYU right and so we've played uh, Long Beach beat them in five it was a deuce game in the fifth played Stanford lost Felt like we actually played okay volleyball. I thought that was actually one of the better volleyball matches we've been a part of this season. I thought they played great. I thought we offensively played well. We just didn't do enough defensively. Um, but I felt like it was a, a later season type match where teams were playing good volleyball. So uh, we haven't played BYU yet, and then we play Santa Barbara twice this week. So we'll play a lot more of that top five as the season finishes. We've got Long Beach, Stanford, BYU twice, and Santa Barbara twice. This week, so we play a lot. We'll find out a lot about where we're at exactly. Are you a little bit ahead of schedule? Because I think going in, people thought hey, you might be pretty young, especially yeah. and, and with Mike Amaha. If you talk about him too, sure. Um, are we a little bit ahead of schedule? Maybe. I think there the big curiosity everyone wants to talk about, and we want to learn about is the six two and and how to utilize Micah. Uh, obviously, you asked about him. Micah is um, tremendous talent in so many different areas. I don't know that I've ever coached a player more skilled in a variety of different areas, including leadership and interpersonal dynamics than Micah. Um, so what are we going to do with him? It was a big question. Was he going to play outside? I think if he played outside, he'd probably be an All-American outside. Or outside, If he was a setter, he'd probably be an All-American setter. How do we use that? And the 6-2 became what we decided to go with. Uh, obviously, Hagen Smith makes that possible. He's another guy that's obviously grown up around the game, and these guys have some really high volleyball IQ, which makes it fun to coach. Um, the curiosity for me as a coach is can we improve enough uh, over the course of the season when you're asking guys to do a lot. Obviously, it's, it's hard enough as it is offensively to connect with one setter, and here we have two. And how do you design practices in order to get that done? It's, it's interesting. So maybe in some respects we're a little ahead of where I thought we'd be. Um, but, yeah, I don't think we'll really know exactly how this year, what the experiment will end up being until the end of the year. Um, be, because of your Olympic experience and, and bringing in so many young guys, yeah. has that helped you as a college coach with bringing in young guys and maybe having them adapt faster? Uh, maybe. I, I think it's mostly just the fact that I, I, I believe that if a young guy comes in, he doesn't have to pay his dues. If he's good enough to play, I'm going to put him on the court and give him a shot. Um, certainly we've seen that work out really well on the national team. And, and here you're always recruiting talent and UCLA we have an opportunity to bring in some talented young players every year and, and I'm going to give them an opportunity to compete sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but it makes the entire team better safe to call uh, last year might have been frustrating and the guys who came back this year mm -hmm. maybe with a little bit better sense of purpose hopefully it was you know you have a season like last year uh, it's, it's frustrating it's not unusual the the timetable and the scenario is actually pretty much identical to what I dealt with with UC Irvine uh, 14 years ago. Um, when I got the Irvine job, it was mostly juniors and seniors. They were a great group of guys. We had some immediate success. But because it was all juniors and seniors, the third year was the toughest year when everybody was freshman and sophomore. And that's exactly the same thing that happened here. Last year was tough. Everyone was freshman and sophomores. I think we were 13 and 14, which my guess is is probably one of the the only losing time record in UCLA history, which you're never proud of. But I figured that would be motivational. We knew we'd be better. We knew we were bringing in more talent, and we knew that the guys that we had here were talented and could do the job. And so I think the combination of those things, we knew we'd improve, and I'm, I'm feeling very good about the direction that we're going.